I am Dr. Neema Bisht, BDS by degree and a pharma professional. Also, I am founder of Career in Pharma, wherein I provide guidance and training to healthcare professionals. I am on a mission to help 1 lakh healthcare professionals to attain financial security through career into clinical research industry. Hello everyone. Once again, I welcome you all to Career in Pharma. So today I'm going to discuss a very important question about which uh, I got a lot of query from many people. So let's begin with today's uh, video. So today I'm going to discuss is doing any certification or diploma in clinical research and pharmacovigilance is mandatory or not or how to go about it after doing a graduation degree. Okay. Uh, so let me discuss about the importance part of diploma. See, first thing is, it is not a mandatory part. Mandatory means it is not any requirement by companies or, you know, by any hospital who is going to hire you. They are hiring you because of your graduation degree, not because you did diploma or certificate in clinical research and pharmacovigilance. Now the question comes, if it's not mandatory, then why to take it, right? So uh, there are lot many advantages of, you know, going for a diploma or certification in clinical research and pharmacovigilance. Uh, why I'm going to tell you all those points. Before beginning this, maybe, you know, many people who are currently inside industry and also experience they will say that it is not important and you can get job without any certification also uh, and most of the time you you must have seen that they already gone through diploma or certification themselves but what happens you know when you come to industry and when you get an experience then you feel like you know there was no use of diploma and you did it um, and there was no use of diploma you can get entry without that also that is fine but there are a lot of importance to any diploma because it's easy to say that you can get into without certification and diploma but in practical reality practically it's very tough to get into without any diploma because see what the thing is Whenever you see people who are into clinical research and pharmacovigilance, always see their profile inside LinkedIn and see their certification part. Among 100 people you find inside LinkedIn, you will see more than 90 people uh, getting job by doing some sort of certification. So that important any certification and diploma is. Now I will tell you a few points. What are the important what, what is the importance of, you know, doing any certification and diploma in clinical research and pharmacovigilance? First thing is, uh, first thing, to make yourself stand out in crowd. So, what does it mean? See, at a fresher level, we all know how much tough is the competition to get a job. Considering the employment situation in India, where uh, we young population is, we have a very high number of young population, uh, young population that to who who were who are searching for job so in this scenario if you go with some certification or diploma that can add value to your cv then definitely you can make yourself stand out in crowd because what happens you know let's say uh, in a company there are only two openings and for that 100 cvs are coming so definitely Definitely to add value to your education, whatever you did, the, to your graduation part, if you do some certification, that will add value to your CV, which in return, which in return uh, increases the probability of getting shortlisting of your CV. Okay, so first thing is, it will help you to make stand out in crowd. Second point, to speak with confidence and to understand the basics. See, in any interview, be it be uh, clinical research, be it be any other corporate job or, you know, in even in your college viva, the most important thing is your confidence level. See, definitely knowledge matters, but your, uh, your uh, confidence also matters. Suppose if you know everything, okay, let's say if I talk about just knowledge, if you know everything, but at the day of interview, if you're not able to speak, 
if you are not able to convey your message with confidence then you are not going to be selected okay so definitely first to understand the basics and when your basics are clear definitely that confidence will reflect in your interview be it be any interview okay and the third point is to understand the basics means see it's always better to study about the field about the area where you going to uh, do job or where you going to uh, uh, spend rest of your life right otherwise what will happen if you get into also then chances are very less that you can stay there for a longer time okay so it's better to uh, to understand the field to understand the basics before getting into job it will always be better and definitely it will help in your growth also because when in when you come to job also you will you will you know heard about many terminologies and many things will be there in job no one will explain you the thing so it's always better to have a you know first hand uh, theoretical experience of the thing before going to job okay fourth point is to know how much and what to answer now what does it mean see if you have your uni- uni- university exam let's say because i am a dentist if i talk about uh, i have a university exam tomorrow of cons and endo subject okay so if any end, uh, dentist listening to this they can understand this okay the same is applicable for other graduation holder also so suppose you have university exam tomorrow cons and endo exam is there so you will not read the entire sturdy event or you will not uh, read the entire grossman right what you will do you will just go through the important topics okay whatever frequently they ask you will just go through that yeah so to know what you have to answer how much you have to answer and what you have to go through before any interview for that also any diploma will definitely going to help you for sure fifth point is nowadays companies and recruiters also prefer candidate with diploma and i have seen many post on linkedin that uh, they prefer uh, they write a note that candidate with diploma will be given preference now you must be thinking that just now i said uh, diploma is not mandatory now i am saying that companies and recruiter giving preference to people with diploma uh, so it's contradictory right so why companies and recruiters giving preference to candidates with diploma because see whenever you are going with any diploma definitely you are get, you are getting to understand uh, about the basic of the field you will get a knowledge right first hand theoretical knowledge before going to job so what happens when you understand the field well before going for job and you understand the basics then it's kind it's kind of a security a sense of security from recruiter and also in hiring you because sometimes what happens not necessary that all person will get interest into clinical research right so uh, to know what kind of work you have to do after going to industry get that information before only otherwise you know maybe you will get shortlisted for interview and then chances are there that you may not get interest in what you are doing then in that case you will quit the job right in your early months also so it's like a additional uh, sense of security in hiring people uh, who are coming up with some diploma so that's why companies recruiters and consultants they are uh, preferring people with some diploma or certificate uh, six point is see we all know that in india education system is all about volume of information uh, your marks your gold medals your topper list in college right be it be school education or college education is similar if i talk about dental colleges i don't think so any dental college in india they are preparing us for how to open your clinic or hospital right so it's all about theory and uh, grades marks and you will get more value if you are topper in your college yeah so they are assessing us based on our marks in college it has to do nothing with you know practical aspects of job they are not preparing us for job yeah that's why it is always advisable and a good thing to go for any certification 
or diploma which is just job oriented after your graduation degree yeah uh, because i have seen uh, many people once they do graduation they think that this is sufficient no okay so uh, just graduation it's not sufficient and uh, in today's scenario when the world is changing with you know with a with a very high speed with, with so much of technology and everything you can't you know uh, you you can't just be there and sitting and saying that my graduation degree will work and that is more than enough see again i'm saying it's not mandatory to go for any diploma if you are smart enough if you are aware enough if you are confident enough that you can do it on your own then you can go without any certification also okay i'm not saying it is mandatory but but to decrease your journey you can go for a certification yeah last point is definitely which i already mentioned to decrease your learning curve to decrease your struggle it's always better to learn from the journey of the people who already struggled and who are into the industry okay otherwise uh, there is no point if you are not learning from people who are already struggled a lot or maybe who are into industry you know after going through a lot of struggle so it's always better to learn from their journey it's kind of decrease of your struggle and your journey okay so i guess i have covered all the point on importance of diploma again i am saying it is not mandatory but lot many advantages are there so you just can't rely on your graduation degree be whatever it is okay and i have seen people are not uh, and in india uh, we have this mindset right even though in india what people will do they will invest lakhs they will invest lakhs and they will invest around 3 to 4 years in their graduation post graduation degree without realizing that these degrees are of no use because they are not preparing us for practical aspects reality of you know uh, the job and they are not preparing us for job okay but i am not saying degree is not important definitely in documentation we need degree in hand but always think on how you can add more value to your cv through the certification and diploma courses okay uh i hope i was able to uh, clear this point on importance of diploma or is it mandatory or not to take any certificate diploma after your graduation part other than this uh, just a small note all uh, specifically life science graduate means if you are a plain bsc geology botany or a microbiologist bsc or msc or a nursing graduate also and uh, basically all those life science graduate who don't have medicine or pharmacology subject in their graduation for them it is highly recommended to go for diploma because if i talk about dentist physiotherapist or alternate medicine graduates who have little idea about medicine pharmacology during their graduation degree for them it is still okay but if you are a plain life science graduate you know without any med- knowledge of medicine and pharmacology then think on diploma part because it's really going to help you a lot okay and for other people who still think that they can go without diploma and certificate then all the very best to all of you and definitely you can get into without certificate also it's not a mandatory part then depends how much aware you are how much smart you are and how much active you are okay uh, so with this i am going to conclude this video i hope i was able to clear the doubt of importance of diploma and uh, will soon meet with some other video please comment in the chat box if you want any specific topic for to me to discuss definitely i will make a video on that also okay so with this i am going to conclude it and will meet very soon till then stay safe stay healthy and stay connected bye bye all of you